Okay, Michael says, on the risk management framework process, where the STIGs fall into. So STIGs fall into the implementation portion of your process. So let, let's, let's look at a RMF NIST visual here. Let me just show you what we're talking about. Okay, so here we are on, I'm just going to bring this up. There we go. So I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So in this process, the first step in the process is to prepare. This is the foundation, right? And I talk about this in my course. The next step after you've prepared is categorizing the system. How important is this, the data on the system to your organization? If this system goes down, what happens? What is the impact to our organization? Can we still fly an astronaut to the International Space Station? If the answer is no, then that is a critical system <laughs> that can't go down for very long. If the answer is like, oh, it's just a website for International Space Station that allows us to have a feed so you can see what's going on there as the spacecraft goes to the International Space Station. If it goes down, it's fine. It can be down for like a few hours and it's, it's no big deal. Different categorizations. The next step is now that we know our system is super duper important, what security controls do we need to put on there? So those are pre-selected. You have a pre-selected level of controls. You can add or you can subtract them. That's called tailoring. So you're tailoring the controls that you need to the system's importance, if that makes any sense. The next step is implementation. That's this one right here that where my mouse is. Implementation is where the stigs come in. So they don't mention stigs here, but they should. So the security implementation guides, right? That's what you're using. And let me just bring it up here. These right here, this is actual stigs, actual implementation steps. This is what you're doing once the system has been put in place to make it secure. And these guides tell you exactly what is needed, what are the best practices, and how to do it. That's what a STIG does. So security technical implementation guide. Step by step, first off, what is the vulnerability? That's what this V vulnerability ID is. What's the vulnerability? What rule does it pertain to? In this case, it's a Windows rule. And it specifically tells you what is about, how to fix it, and all that stuff. So to answer your question, Mike, where does it fall into? It falls into the implementation portion. Now that being said, you could use, I could see yourself using the STIGs for an assessment if you just needed a guide to say, okay, I'm trying to figure out if these guys meet the domain join system, system must use Windows 10. Are they using Windows 10, right? Are they using the proper 64-bit version of this system? I could use this guide to help me with the, with the technical aspects of testing on whether or not I could have this guide in front of me, right, on a tablet or on, have printed it out and say, okay, I want you to open up your system. I want you to go on the windows I'm, and now I want you to go to settings and then now I want you to go to system and then I want you to go to about and then you've just used the STIGs to do an assessment. But typically they're used for implementation if that answers your question. Okay, Hardily says, how you doing Hardily? Says, hi Bruce, can you touch on the SCESMs and the CIS? So I actually did talk a little bit about CIS in, as it pertains to linking to the CCIs and how it links to NIST controls. I didn't go very deep, I just kind of pointed it out. But um, I would like to do a whole course on that we could kind of touch on it but this is something that i would like to like walk through and spend some time getting you know really getting them in deep on that and as far as the other one you mentioned c s e s m m's i don't know what that is i, I don't maybe i'm just not getting the acronym for it but cis i definitely know what that is and that's what you're looking at here and this right here is talking about how the cis 
is how it integrates with CIS and where it's at. Yeah, I would definitely like to cover CIS, but not live. I, I would like to break it down like seriously and then do lives after it. And then maybe even have a whole course on it would be would be incredible. That's what I want to do. All right, guys, that's about it. I've been talking for about an hour. There's not a lot of questions here. So I'm about to end this. I hope that this covered. Oh, IRS. Okay, I know some stuff about that. <laughs> I know some stuff. I know a little bit of something about that. But yes, I can, I can, I'll look into that. Let me make a note for myself. That's a good one. Thank you for bringing that up. I bet you I know what this is from very recent, very recent experience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll look into that and then CIS. It's kind of like the CCIs. Like Michael asked me about CCIs. I'm like, what is he, what is he talking about? And then when I started researching, I'm like, oh, I know. I use that all the time. I know what that is, you know. And then that's when the sticks came up. I'm like, yes, right. This is it right here, you know. And is this not something in the industry that I'm in? We don't. I don't normally say, hey, what's the CCI on this particular control? What's the CCI? I don't. It's not a term you use. So <laughs> um, he says, see my last question on the. RMS process where the stigs fall into where the stigs fall into yeah I did answer that question the stigs fall into I don't know if you were maybe you, you walked away while I was talking about that does, does that answer your question or or was it not adequate it falls into the security here let me let me see if I can bring up that visual again it falls into this right here implementation of security controls does that answer your question, Michael? This right here, this wheel, is the risk management framework process steps. Risk management framework steps, right? So when you're doing STIGs, it falls into implementation. You could use it other places, but, oh, okay, poems. Because I didn't see you ask that. <laughs> 